What Canon lens can you buy for under 400? Today, I'm going to be showing you a few options that will help you get through this dilemma. And there's loads of options out there, but what is the best one for your budget? We will be looking at a few options and we're going to be giving you loads of different ideas about lenses because lenses are your main factor when it comes to a body. You want to get the best one and you want to make sure that it helps you out during your journey. So let's share my ideas with you and my screen. So we've got a budget of 400 now. In the previous video options, we looked at 300 and also down the line, actually, we started at 50. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do with this amount today. So we're always keeping an eye out for a buy it now lens option within the UK is where I searched. So this is going to be a pound currency. However, this can apply to a dollars if you're in America, which a lot of my audience seems to be from. So hi, my American friends. So looking at these options here, you can see straight away at 400, I've got the 24 to 105 millimeter f4 is lens that is actually a great example of a good lens and it's an l lens also and being the ef mount a good thing about that lens is whatever body you have for canon it will fit on it so for example if you have a crop sensor body it will also fit on that so that's a great consideration let's see what else we've got down here okay interesting is an entry from Tokina. This is an ultra wide lens. So I know some of the fans out there will have different types of lenses. So I'm going to give you a few options. This is a wide lens. So if you're doing stuff like landscape photography, even vlogging, you might want a bigger wide angle. So that's an option lens there. For our podcast listeners, I will be putting the names of the lenses in the description because I know you guys have been enjoying this series and following along. So I'm hoping you found this useful. So looking at this, we've got a few more suggestions that I'm going to give you. So again, along the lines of a slightly wider lens, the 17 to 40 f4 from Canon is another option. Let's bring that one up. We'll have a look at them. I'll compare them. I'll let you know which one I would buy. And then we can take it from there because currently I have a few lenses that I regularly use and you may know those lenses are the 70 to 200, 24 to 70 and the 50 millimeter lens. And those give me options to shoot everything I would need to shoot. So that is actually quite handy to have. Uh, if you were looking along the lines of different lenses, you might consider professional lenses because you're going to always have something to keep you going and giving you professional images however if you're at this budget you know what it's available now based on what i'm showing you but if you had a different price range make sure to check out my lower budget ones in this playlist because you'll find that useful oh this one looks really nice uh, it's a full-on kit uh, let's open that up we'll have a look at these as i get them through so what else do we have here then okay interesting this is quite highly priced isn't it for the lens okay we'll leave that one out in yeah we looked at this one before is an excellent condition 70 to 200 f4 so now we've got a bit more money to spend so we'll have slightly better conditioned items which will be packaged as new so that's something to consider let's see what else i want to get something else in this i want to hopefully get a 70 to 200 2.8 for you guys because i think that would be a nice option in the runnings let's see 100 millimeter macro we already saw that in like a lower budget which wasn't as great quality as this one and i want to bring up something else for you come on give me something nice guys so what do we have okay so i've got four options for you the first one is going to be a canon ef 24 to 105 millimeter f4 is lens usm so let me just explain if you're not familiar with that what all those basically mean let me just get a quick notepad up because i know you guys like to know the full names of these lenses so i'm going to be logging these as i go along so i can share the names with you in the description so you can pick them up and this lens is firstly it's an ef mount which means it will work on a crop sensor body and a full frame canon body the next set of numbers which is 24 to 105 
is going to be how wide to how focused in or zoomed in you can get it 24 being something like a, a wider shot something like like this for example so if you're on the youtube video you can see that if you're on the podcast i'm showing a, a wide view of my webcam and then if you look at my 50 millimeter here you can see how much of the background shows versus my other option so that gives you an idea of that f4 is the aperture of the lens so how much detail well I'll, I'll keep it layman's terms so it's how much background blur you've basically got on your shot that is 1.4 that is more like f5 so you can see the difference of the quality and what you can see in focus versus what is it in focus um is stands for image stabilizer so this will be a good contender if you're doing hand held video work usm ultrasonic motor which basically means it's going to be a quieter and a quicker focusing motor and let's see this option is from a seller with a hundred percent positive feedback what i normally like to do is as it is ebay i look at what else they are selling that gives you an idea and it's always good when they put a lot of information down about the lens so i'm going to give you some details and let you know what i think would be good right now it looks like they may be moving because they've got a few items regarding well the lens and some cupboards so it, it may be just a one-off sale okay so the lens mounts smoothly onto the camera and communicates all information correctly from new this lens has had a uv digital filter on the optics are clean and the lens is pin sharp there are no exterior marks scratches on the glass nor any fungus growth within the interior elements all good signs because if they've looked for that and they've commented on it they know their stuff about lenses the zoom is smooth and moves cleanly throughout the full focus range uh, focal range without any resistance or sticky points auto and manual focus is all fully operational and smooth from infinity through to close focus the rubbers are excellent condition and not slack okay good so that's normally referring to the rubbers around the lens you can it's normally where you focus from sometimes they can go slightly white and they lose the color so okay that is a good listing i would consider that as a good contender at that price range let's have a look that was the 24 to 105 lens let's have a look at the second option we looked at which is a torquina however i'm going to mention straight away depending on your body this is going to be a efs fit so that means it will only fit on crop sensor bodies so if you've got a thousand d 1300d 700d those types of cameras this lens will fit on it if you have a full frame body it won't fit on that so here we go let's have a look again similar thing oh 99.1 percent feedback We'll have a look dive at that he sold enough items to make me feel comfortable he's got multiple lenses so it seems to be a person who sells mainly lenses let's just have a quick look fivercam.com oh, that's an interesting website let's have a look at that and then neutral in the past month which was damaged mirror and lcd screen cost me another 50 pounds to replace mirror hmm okay i'm not sure if i'll go through this one because recently there have some arrived faulty showing cf error not the item i purchased bits missing and posted a week after i bought it okay you're gonna get rid of that seller straight away sorry mate yeah we don't like that okay fivercam.com was the website let's see if what their website's like just out of interest because if you're buying online you may have come across let's check five a cam camera and lenses ultimate shopping site which is taking ages to load i'll come back to that in a second okay the next lens we are looking at is a 17 to 40 f4 usm lens so that's a, a wider lens oh comes nicely packaged with most of the things i would expect so it's got the box the pouch lens cap hood as well and what's that seller look like 100 percent and 161 items have a look at what else they're selling well just the lens okay hmm. let's have a look okay that's fine that was the earlier one i'm looking at there that's fine and get rid of that altogether. so what have we got here 
any information a couple of lines ef lands black perfect for travel architecture landscape condition is used okay not enough information there but again that is a good option at 400 pounds if you're looking at a lens i'll put this as number three ef 17 to 40 millimeter f4 and one last option i'm going to cover now which is another great condition lens uh, similar to the one i've just looked at this one is 399 pounds but you can see it's great quality images as well which always helps slight damage in the box there where you can see the 40 millimeter it's got like a bit of a dent and um, that's a box though okay cheaper available on ebay yes but this is not a regular ebay trash interesting very good condition cosmetically excellent some usual marks but nothing major our pre-owned and refurbished items okay so it makes me think this is a seller let's just have a look at the other items which will reinforce that and there we go yeah it seems to be their thing they've got nice quality images throughout that so that's one i would look at so there we have given you a few options of different lenses that you could buy so we're looking at under 400 pounds what to do is if you check out this video that would be your next one in the series and this would be your previous video you can check out and see if you've got a bit more money what you can end up getting see you in one of those videos